that's unbelievable. That I thought that was a real thing. A lot of little boys and or big boys, big boys, uh, big boys. Uh, a, a lot of them used to be interested in uh, in engines, trains, and steam trains and things like that. Uh, wh where's this fairground thing come from? Well, I suppose it uh, started when Richmond, I live, is only two miles away from here, and every Whitsuntide, the fair used to come for the um, Whitsuntide. Uh, meat, as they call it here, yeah, yeah. and uh, it always used to fascinate me. And all the the ride, the lorries, and the and the rides, and the and the caravans used to trail up the village, which I lived through. And yeah. I always used to go out and watch them. And I thought it was quite a mystifying sort of uh, right. existence. So, so, so you, you had a, a, a sneaking out ambition as a young kid, yeah, as a young lad to just sort of travel with the fairground. Well, it was yeah. something like yeah, that because yeah, the, yeah. the school that I was at, you could look out and. You could see the caravans parked there for a week by the yeah, uh, yeah. by the river, and you thought, "What a nice existence they yeah, had!" You know, yeah, coming yeah. to a nice place like yeah. Richmond for a week. Yeah. And then a few years later, I went to a uh, traction engine rally at Massam, oh, which is yeah. very far away, mm -hmm. and somebody had made a model Walser. Yeah. And it was good. It was good. I must say, it was good. But uh, uh, the cars didn't spin, and there was a few oh, other right. things. And right. I thought, well, one of these days, I'll build one. Yeah. And. Uh, and so you started this when? What what year did you start? Well, this? I think I, I started this in the uh, late nineties. Really, it took me four years to complete. Four years, wow! And um, yeah. it was a thing that my mother said that she she said she'd never see it before she died. Well, she's still alive now, so it got Lovely. it got done. Yeah, it got Lovely. done. Yeah, and uh, I went around measuring up really the. Uh, the real rides. Yeah, but d you, you say you measured up the real rides. You didn't actually uh, produce the drawings and everything. Did you, did you buy this as a kit? Well, no. I bought. I did it. Uh, it's totally uh, done from scratch, as they say. Yeah, yeah. And I did measure up the real rides and made yeah. drawings of it and right. scaled it down. It's a one twenty fourth scale. So you didn't buy drawings. You I did didn't all, buy you did all the, myself. All myself. There were some drawings you could buy, and I bought them. And I wasn't very happy with them when I looked at them. Mm -hmm. They weren't quite. To scale as right, I thought, right. so uh, I measured up the real machine. And it's yeah. one twenty-four scale, which is uh, uh, half an inch to a foot. Right. So, yeah. so it's and a, what what about the roof? I mean, you, you didn't start climbing on top of the thing. So well, no. Roof. Well, the great thing about the Walser was they were mainly built in. Uh, I built my two manufacturers. One was Maxwell, who was in Mus Musselburgh in uh, Scotland, and the other one was Jackson's, mainly who were in Congleton in Cheshire. And um, there's a bit of competition between the two of them, mm -hmm. but the thing was they never made the same machine twice. They were right. always really done to whatever the showman wanted. Yeah. So it depend. They all varied a little bit. All right? varied in yeah. size, yeah. number of cars that were on it. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, so that gave you a bit of a leeway when you were modelling, making a model. So you had right. a bit of right. leeway in that way. Yeah. yeah. So uh, let's go back to this uh, ambition to 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 travel. You, you, you were about ten years old, were you at the, at the time? Or yeah, well, the younger. Yeah, yes, I would be in the junior school when when the right, fair used to right. come and used to fascinate me. And, and you had this, you had this fascination or this ambition or whatever it was to travel. You, you did actually, uh, you, you did actually start travelling, didn't you? Uh, not with the fair, but but no, in well, other ways, you you, you started yeah, I suppose uh, so, yeah. sailing the seas, didn't you? I sailed the yeah, seas for yeah, quite a few years. Quite a few years. Uh, been been around the world a few times. Been around the world yeah, a few times yeah, yeah. as a musician on the cruise that's ships. That's right. That's right. Which was great. Yeah. Which was great. Great way to see the world. And, and, Good and the, times. And the, the first, the first. I think the first ship you went on was the. Was it the Oriana? Or yeah, Oriana was one of the first ones. Yeah. That's the original yeah. Oriana. Oriana. The original Oriana. The original Oriana. Oriana. Yeah. Which. Uh, uh, which was a fantastic ship. Yeah, and, and what about the camera? Did you work? I never did the camera. Visited yeah, a few yeah, times, right, but it was mainly for P and O. I worked, and uh, but you were actually you were based in Australia, weren't you? Yeah, yeah. the uh, well, the Sea Princess and the and the Oriana. We were based in Sydney for quite a lot of years, right, right, on and right. off, and it was great sailing out to Sydney Harbour and going right. to South Pacific Islands and touring and, uh, like that. And when you got yourself back on dry land, then of course you were. Uh, you still continue travelling with uh, with with touring shows. That's right. That's right, and you're still doing it even today. You're still doing it now. Still doing still doing it now. But yeah, it, it's amazing because you found the time to build this in in what little spare time you had. Really, you don't yeah, have a did. lot of spare time. No, I don't have a lot of spare yeah. time. And uh, well, as you as you know, I travel around uh, from digs to digs, as we say, theatrical That's right. digs. You you must you must know every theatrical digs in England I know the good and ones. Wales. I'm sorry. <laughs> Yes, I know, I know quite a few. The good yeah. and the bad, but most of them are good. Most, most of them are, are good. good. Yeah. Most of them are great. Yeah. Yeah. And actually, I took the model with me in sections yeah. and uh, worked at it 
uh, yeah. each each digs I was at. I would yeah. either take a bit and make the cars or do a bit of painting. Yeah. Or, yeah. But but with travelling around also gave me the opportunity to meet all the different showmen in different yeah. areas of the of the country. Right. And uh, found them very very helpful, and right. they were yeah. Very, yeah. great great. Great gentleman Brilliant. who allowed me to measure up the machines and yeah. you know yeah. help me on the way. Have you ever been back and, and yes. show, showed them the model? I've been back and, and, and showed uh, pictures of of the ride. Yeah, but not so long ago I was down in um, Paynton, uh, which I based actually the uh, the hills of this ride on by a, a, a firm in the southwest called Anderson Roland, and I saw a gentleman. He actually stopped the ride and had me crawling underneath it to show how he'd altered certain things himself wow, you know wow. so yeah. it's a um, yeah. great privilege yeah. uh, apart, apart from the apart from the actual ride itself uh, we have the truck that that, that tows it or that carries it and that's the, right uh, and you, ma right. you made this as well yeah they cheated a bit there the, the, the actual front of the truck was a was a tractor unit we, we can yeah. pull it around here yeah, around, yeah. 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 there we go uh -huh. so the actual front of the truck was actually a tractor unit, which would only be a, a tractor unit that would pull uh, an articulated load. Yes. But uh, I managed to get another set of wheels. Yes. And extended the body. Uh -huh. Made the framework. Right. And uh, so it's a bit cheating. I didn't actually right. make the truck. Okay. And and the whole thing, the the, the whole ride, it, it all breaks down into sections and it packs away on the lorry. Yeah, it packs away onto the lorry, and the lorry pulls what's known as the centre truck, which uh, is a truck. Does it, does it have a trailer? Yeah, the trailer, the trailer goes on there. And the trailer is actually the centre of the ride. The centre of the oh, ride I see, yeah. is based on a trailer. Oh, so it, and that's it, how... It all folds up in the centre and that is, that yeah, is a all the trailer part of it. All, all ah, packs yeah, away. I that's see, a real I thing. See. And now, there are about 400 parts that go on today. Wow. Now, yeah. I know that somewhere you've got photographs of the trailer all packed up with the ride on it. Yeah, that's right, yeah. It, and I think it was taken in your back garden. Taken in my back garden. And it actually looks like the real thing. With the trees at the background. With the trees, in, with yeah. the trees in the background, and and this on the lawn. It looks. It, yeah. you, you can't tell the difference. Well, hopefully not. Hopefully not. That's yeah. the whole point. Of well, I, I, you know, I must admit, I, uh, I had a glance at the pictures, and uh, yeah. and uh, it fooled me anyway. It fooled you. It man. absolutely fooled me. That that is uh, that is fantastic. Now, how long does it take you to uh, to? Uh, Pack it all away. Well, packing away is quite easy. I suppose it would take about uh, an hour and a half. An but, hour and a half. But putting it up can take about three hours. Wow. Three or wow. four hours. And the amazing thing with showmen is nowadays they keep altering it. Uh, this is quite a complicated ride to put together, and yeah, yeah. they usually say they can do theirs in about five or six hours with about three men. They can usually do it to put one up. You know? Right. Right. That, that, that's of, good going, isn't it? It is yeah. good going for a for for a machine. Oh, that yeah, size, machine yeah. that size. But of course, so, I mean the, you don't see these now, do you? Really? Uh, well, are, it's, it's, it's um, there's still a few around, but there's quite right. a few around. But the yeah. thing is that the artwork is all changing nowadays. Yeah. This is done in almost traditional. Yeah. And I tell me, are, are these are these uh, transfers? No, they were they were done by. Uh, I found a few a uh, bit of artwork that I liked, yeah, and copied yeah, it, yeah. and then it was done by a, a very painstaking way of actually um, what's known as frisk tape, which is a bit like uh, backing a book. Ah, yeah. You put this tape over over yeah. what you want to yeah, do, and you yeah. draw on it yeah. what you want to do, and yeah. then you cut out the general the each little bit and then you right. spray it with right. paint and put the other bits back in. Right. So it was all so, done so, sort of stencil. So what what is it's the same picture, isn't it? All the way each each, each one's one done the, is, each one's done the same way. Each one's done the same way. Right, now if I take one off we could <coughs> oh, the, oh, yeah, I'll take one yeah. off we could have a look at it. Have a look at it, yeah. There we are, you see they come off. Yeah, now yeah, yeah, right. Now if we look at this, yeah. it would be you put a uh frisk tape which is just a clear adhesive tape that goes over it, yeah. a film that goes over it like that, yeah. and then you would draw your stencil right. on the tape, yeah. and with a very sharp knife you would cut out each bit that you wanted to paint. Wow. Take it out, spray it. I understand. Put the bit back in again. I understand. Take yeah. another bit yeah. out, spray it, put it back in, and this, each one was done and individually. Each, each panel you have yeah. painstakingly... Done like that, so that's why oh. you get the clean, that's why you get that's the clean, right. clean edges. I understand, yeah. So that um, God, you must have had some patience. Well, that was it, patience. Patience, very patient. All, yeah. all model work and things is, is patience. Yeah, it's patience. What, what about uh, any future projects? Have you? Uh, well, nothing at, at the moment. But yeah. I would, I've always hankered after making a set of dodgems that actually work. That actually work. That actually work. So who's going to drive them? Well, they got. <laughs> uh, I've got a little mechanism that might be able to that they go along and hit something right. and turn around again. 
Yeah. But there we are. But the the one about the waltzer was the main thing was trying to get the cars to spin. Yes. Because I think you went if you see the real the real yes. one. Yeah. There's usually just yeah, they're just they're just free free aren't they? Yeah. Or the or the guy yeah. in the back spins around. Is there some mechanism in there? No, there's no mechanism at all. If no. I take one off now, yeah. Just yeah. out of interest and show you one. Yeah. There's the car. Right. And it's made out of aluminium. Yeah. And uh, they just spin on a a little hole there, and there's a little ah, pin. Yes. Little pin goes into the hole. It, 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 exactly the same as the, it the, the is, real and, thing, isn't and it? And, yeah. the, and, the, and the wheels are made out of a couple of washers, Brilliant. glued together. <laughs> but the amazing thing was that the actual <clears throat> track that they go around on. Yeah. I originally used uh, normal plastic cut out, uh -huh. but they they eventually got chewed up and chewed up. Yeah. And I was sitting in the pit one afternoon in the orchestra pit, thinking I've got to find some plastic that's. That's, that's durable and easy to cut yeah and it was staring me in the face and it was the uh, the drum bass drum skin and that's bass what drum they, skin. And that's what they used <laughs> so wow. I got that old bass drum skin and cut them God. up and they're made of plastic and they're yeah. easy to cut and very durable yeah, yeah. brilliant so that's brilliant. what they run around on there must be a few dozen lights here Skib. Uh, what what are the bulbs actually uh, they're LEDs LEDs light emitting diodes they right. call them and, and how many are there in fact uh, 1200 1200 I know that you've got other hobbies um, for instance uh, internet and uh, yes and whatever well you, things move on and move on of course they do uh, you have your own website selling uh, selling musical instruments yeah, yeah? yeah. And, and you you're thinking about even extending on, on on that so you're quite a busy guy you don't allow yourself to uh, you know, you don't allow grass to grow. Do you no, think, we don't. Do you? No. Well, I think I think having hobbies that are interesting. You've got to have a hobby <coughs> that you, something that interests you. Right. And uh, I mean, this was an interest and still is. Yeah. Um, and then I got um, not so many years ago, I got a computer. And you think, what do you do with a computer? Oh. And then, what yeah. do you do with a computer? Absolutely. Yeah. And then, everything. Uh, oh, everything. <laughs> yeah. And then uh, yeah. got into website designing and yeah. quite enjoyed that. And right. And have yeah. a website now that uh, advertises second hand musical instruments, which Brilliant. is doing very well, but Brilliant. it's it's, yeah. it's jogging along. That keeps yeah. you, I suppose, you can call that a hobby as well, really. Well, yeah, I suppose it is a hobby. If, I mean, you, you, you're still uh, you're still touring up and down the country yeah. with, with shows. Where, where, tell me, where are you going next? Um, I'm going to uh, Manchester next. Manchester course, next. Well, we've got yeah. Manchester, then yeah. Liverpool, and then uh, abroad for six weeks. Which oh, lovely. Nice. Yeah, so, whereabouts abroad are you going? Uh, we're going to Lisbon. Oh Lisbon! It's been Portugal. So you really are travelling. So you really are yeah, travelling. Yeah, yeah. Does it ever slow up? Do you think it will do? Well, I think it gets. I think it gets in your gets in your blood and you can't. Gets in your blood and you can't. can't, yeah, can't stop that's it, right, you know. yeah. As as the showmen themselves, I mean, they they tour and they still in the in the winter they don't go in live in houses. Hardly any of them. They go and live in caravans. In they caravans. Just, do they, they put their caravan in the yard and live there. Do they? In the caravan. Yeah. They just they just love the they just love the life, don't just they? Just love the life. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's fantastic. It's and. Uh, that's part of it. Well, Skid, but you know, best of luck with everything. Best of luck you. with your website, and uh, thank you. And and when you've uh, when you've completed your dodgems, uh, I'll come along again. And, well, it uh, might be another four years or so. <laughs> well, <laughs> hopefully not. But, um, well, who knows? But that is that is really that is fantastic. That yeah. Thanks a lot. Thank you. Thanks. <laughs>